I'm steady, calm, ready to do my job to the best of my abilities. Hey guys, you're watching Twins Reviews, where we give our honest opinions about movie trailers today because we are doing something a little bit different. We are going to be overviewing and giving our opinions on three movie trailers that have been highly anticipated uh, for the past uh, couple weeks or months or even days. And today we are going to be looking at the new Star Wars trailer, we're going to be looking at uh, the latest 1917 trailer, and we're also going to be looking at uh, the recent Ad Astra trailer that I believe came out a week ago. Uh, so let's uh, get right into it, and yeah. So right now we're going to start with Star Wars Episode 9. We're going to give it a quick watch and then come back with an overview. Yeah. A thousand generations live in you now. Anyway, so... <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> okay, no. Alright, so we already watched the Star Wars Episode Nine trailer uh, number two, and we're gonna just give you a quick overview on what happens. This isn't like a theory channel, so we're not gonna go into the theories of what actually happens in this trailer. But basically what it reveals is they pull a Marvel and they get a, like a minute of montage of uh, random clips from the previous uh, six, the good six episodes. Yeah. And um, they basically do that in the beginning and then they go off on a tangent where basically they just reveal that uh, the two main characters, they, they're fighting and all of that good stuff. And in the end, they get like a woo-ha moment where uh, they show a dark ray, which is uh, interesting, mm -hmm. and a lot of speculations about that. But we're not going to go into that. We're going to just give our quick opinions about uh, this and what we think about it. So you can go ahead and start. Uh, okay, well, uh, spoil it all. So uh, by the like and dislike ratio, I don't know. It just the 14k dislikes. That's not too hot um, for a movie trailer. Uh, I don't know. It looks. It looks alright. I mean. I definitely think the the dark ray thing that they added at the end is probably gonna be some overhyped thing that uh, is gonna be like some kind of illusion, like not not actual like plot of the of the movie, just to hype it up. So, so I wouldn't like think that it's important to the plot or anything. But uh, that's that's it. I mean, it looks. I mean, it's not great. Like all the six Star Wars movies the originals were better than the new stuff they come out with but I mean whatever we'll see alright so um, after watching this for me um, I, I am a Star Wars fan so I do like uh, the, the Star Wars uh, uh, all the Star Wars stuff however um, as these trailers progress especially for episode 9 it really feels with everything that they release have released into episode 9 trailers it really feels like they might overdo it with the, there's a little bit too much unknown stuff that's coming into uh, episode 9 which we don't talk, which we don't know about like the emperor uh, coming back or whatever now they pull the dark ray thing so i really hope this doesn't go on uh, like a massive tangent of things we don't know and hopefully this movie doesn't rush everything because when you tend to introduce a lot of new things um, it, it may feel rushed. So I really hope that this movie won't feel rushed with all this new stuff added and I'm definitely gonna go see it no matter what yeah, uh, because it. it's it's something even if it sucks yeah gonna everyone's it. gonna see it so that's basically our opinion our little overview on Star Wars uh, leave your opinions in the comments we'd love to hear them all right so uh, now we're moving on to 1917 this is the official trailer for it. I haven't seen it so yeah let's let's get into um it. so the premise of 1917 and I believe this is also coming out in December like Star Wars and the premise of this movie <laughs> is about World War One, so it's very interesting from uh, the very start. Not many World War One films hit the theaters like in a giant like uh, production. So really high hopes for this movie. We're gonna give it a quick watch because he hasn't seen it yet, and then we're gonna come back and give our opinions on it. If you fail, it will be a massacre. Mm. I mean, well, what'd you think about that? The, I mean, the plot is obvious, like they explain it, so it, it seems kind of forced. It's a little, it's just shoved in, like you, it, it's like any standard plot. You either do this or this happens. 
like it, it, it there's not much depth to it uh, so we know what it's gonna be about all right yeah so this is basically a drama I guess that you yeah. could call it drama war story about a brother trying to save his brother from another division you save like 16,000 um, men yeah so something. interesting concept mm. uh, when when you're thinking about like uh, war stories, this is probably uh, more of like a generic plot. But yeah. I really like the fact that uh, they're taking something uh, that doesn't uh, uh, usually appear on the big screen and putting it on there. We'll really have to see how it does. I'm probably gonna go see this one. Uh, I'm not really sure. Uh, I'm more of uh, I'm, I lean more towards action. I guess you can call this action. But um, I'm probably gonna go see this one. What about you? I mean, I have a lot of like, I know a lot of friends and a lot of people that are into like war stuff and like war movies, but personally, I'm not a big like, I'm not big on like war movies, war stories type of thing. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I'll have to wait until someone sees it for them to tell me if it's good or not or worth it to see to watch it. I'm not just gonna like jump on the hype and like see it first day. But uh, yeah. Yeah, definitely very interesting. And if you do guys wanna see, uh, the trailers, all of, all of the three trailers that were, uh, that we, we watched, uh, will be down in the description. So if you want to go check them out for yourself, uh, that's, uh, that's there for you. So now we're going to move to another highly anticipated movie, Ad Astra. He hasn't seen the trailer. I have, cause I picked these out and I have to say this, this one, this one, I will probably be a must see for a lot of people. Uh, because it really it puts a whole nother spin of where movies can go and uh, We're gonna go give him a quick watch. Yeah. He's gonna come back with uh, some, some opinions. opinions I'm gonna go over uh, Over it and give my opinions and then we'll wrap this up. So let's go. I will remain calm I will remain focused You look just like your dad there well, anyway, this uh, movie basically has a, has a little lo love uh, romantic thing, obviously. Some like forced any, romance. Uh, well, we'll for, have to see about measure. that. But um, yeah, basically about a movie where this guy goes to space and he is on a mission to stop something that has been started by his dad. Uh, I guess that's the speculations. And um, as you saw in the trailer, uh, which should be playing on the screen right now, there was some, a, a little bit of uh, moon action or space action going on there. Mm -hmm. I'll probably see this. Uh, it looks interesting. Interstellar was actually like, this looks kind of like Interstellar. Uh, it, it was all right. Like, it was pretty good. I, I enjoyed that. Uh, and what was that other movie called with the, the aliens? It was like... With the big rock? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, wow. <laughs> Can you look it up? Big rock aliens movie. <laughs> Arrival, Arrival, yes! Yeah, so Interstellar yes. and Arrival, I, we saw those and that was good. Uh, so space stuff, I don't know, sometimes, sometimes it can be pretty good, so I'll definitely see this movie. Uh, it looks pretty decent. I'll have to take some friends and uh, check it out on probably like the first week of release. Uh, and this one is actually getting released in September, which is actually very soon. Uh, oh, nice. So this one will probably be the most uh, hyped, uh, most hyped uh, in this uh, time of movies yeah. and, um, and yeah, theaters yeah, yeah. and mm -hmm. all of that. Uh, so what did you guys think about these three trailers? We're gonna have a vote either I think it's up here or over there I'm not sure but we're gonna have a vote on which you think was the best and which one you are most excited for So we're gonna have I'm gonna try and make two polls one is which trailer you think was the best mm -hmm. and one Which movie are you most excited to see out of those three? Which one are you most excited to see out of those three? Well, I'm a Star Wars fan, so I want to see the Star Wars one. I, I, I've been waiting for this. I'd have to go with uh, Ad Astra, probably. Star Wars, I'm not really... I lost all my hype for Star Wars after Disney bought it. Bought it uh, so I'm not as hyped for Star Wars as I am for this. This actually looks... I definitely watch this. Alright. Check out our blog, uh, our blog page. We're going to link that in the description. Uh, we do reviews and stuff about products and such, so please check that out. And then make sure to subscribe to the channel, give it a, give the video two thumbs up, and then make sure to uh, hit that notification bell. Don't hit the notification. So you don't miss a video. And yeah, that's it. See ya.